Hi, in this screencast I'll briefly show you my editing workflow, uh, creating my blog with the static site generator Nanook and using Sublime Text 3 and a few scripts. I'll focus on managing images, but I'll also show you other things I use for my workflow. So right now I'm in Sublime Text and I want to start a new uh, blog post, so I'll type Control alt command n and it gives me just the outline of a um, blog post. So I'll type in the title uh, how to use Nanook to create a blog and I'll say that this is still a draft. I'll add some tags and now I'll just save this. I'll you do control alt command s And now uh, Nano QC has uh, changed the file name to um, the blurb. It's inserted the today's date. And now I can start authoring my blog post. Today I'm writing a blog post. Uh, sometimes I want to insert links, and I've got two different ways of doing that. If I just want a quick Google link um, to the first uh, hit, for example, I want to add a link to Nanook. Uh, I just highlight that word. Um, I hit the uh, Control Alt Command L, and it immediately uh, inserts the appropriate link. I also have Linkify, which I've written about in my blog before, which indexes all of my own blog posts, wiki articles, and also YouTube links, uh, SlideShare presentations, and so on. So if I, for example, want to link to one of my YouTube videos, I could say um, I made a video about open education around the world. I'll select this. It takes a, it's a little bit slower, so I hit Shift Command L, and we see here there's a blog post, uh, three blog posts. This is from my Google Chrome cache. So I can just, uh, so this is actually the slide share, I'll insert this. And again you see, uh, here's the slide share, and here's the video. So we see a bunch of blog posts about open education, here's YouTube. So again, a, a very quick way of inserting appropriate links, because I realized that uh, usually when I put a link in a document, it's either to something that's very quick to find, it's kind of the top hit on Google, like Nanook, or it's to uh, some of my own material, previous blog posts, and so on. But uh, this uh, video was really about how to quickly insert pictures. Let's say I want to take a picture of uh, a metadata section looks in Nanook. So I just uh, select this as a screenshot, and then I type shift Control alt command because this I want on the side and I wanted to fill the whole um, section and see. And very quickly it uh, takes the image, resizes it, uh, puts it in the right folder. And um, if I want this on one of either side, I can say, okay. So now I want to have a look at how this looks. I'm just going to do Control alt command p which compiles uh, the blog and previews it in the browser. So here we are. Um, we see here that the URL is draft because we're, uh, we don't want to publish this yet. Um, we see the text that I'm writing, we see the links that I made, and we see this image. And of course it looks a bit awkward because I don't have more text, but uh, you see how it takes up exactly half the page. Um, I can also go here to draft and I'll see all of my different drafts here that I'm working on. So, uh, to give you another example, let's say I'm uh, working on my uh, my blog and I'm looking through it, and I come across a blog post that I might want to make some changes to. So, right now I'm on my website, and I want to make some changes to this one. So, I want to very quickly open this file. I hit Control Alt Command Delete. And it opens this post um, locally, so the, the file that's local. And I can quickly look through it and, and make some changes. Um, so let's say I want to in, include a new screenshot here. So 
talking about the Likert function. So let's say I wanted to um, grab a screenshot of that. So I'll just grab a quick random screenshot here. And uh, we'll insert it here. And this one will want to span the whole uh, side of the page. So you see whole means that it's spanning the whole page. Now I can hit preview. And if we go down here, we should see exactly. So here's the section that I just pasted in. And you see it's been resized to fit exactly within uh, the blog. If we go look at uh, the folder where all these pictures are, here you actually see the posts. So this is the, this is the last post that we were creating. Um, if we go up and we go into uh, the images, you'll see here is um, the last image that I added. And we see that it both has the original image and the resized image. So if any time in the future I want to generate new um, images, different sizes, I can do that. And because this is under my um, blog content, it also automatically gets compiled by Nanook and then I can easily look at it uh, in lo locally or I can easily sync it um, to the server. So that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching.